I hope you're having a fantastic week at home. It's been the first week of February and it's also been World or Children's Mental Health Week this week. So today I'll just be sharing a very short message with you about children's mental health and also looking at a few positives that we can think of while we're sitting at home during this time when we're actually on lockdown, just trying to keep our spirits up. So as you know, it's Children's Mental Health Week this week, but what exactly is mental health? Let's have a look. So mental health includes our emotional or our mental and social well-being. This affects the way we think, the way we do things, and also the way we feel. Okay, it also determines how we handle our stress, like in stressful situations when we have so much work to complete or if we just feel like we have a lot going on at the moment. It also affects how we relate to others, how we treat them, and also the way we make choices. So, in many things that we do, we can, it's easy for us to find the negative in these things. And it's easy for us just to say, I can't do this. This is too difficult. But today I'd like to focus on finding the positive in things because there's always a positive in something that we're doing. Okay, so ways to maintain a positive mental health could be like talking to someone whom you trust. It could be a friend. If you feel more comfortable with someone your age, or it could be an adult. A trusted adult would be a parent, an aunt, an uncle, a gran or granddad, or even your teachers or co-teachers. Another way is to always connect with others. Make sure you're always in contact with someone, someone who makes you feel good about yourself. This could be either video calling, a normal phone call, or even just popping out for a walk with him every day. Okay, staying positive is a tricky one, I think, for many of us, because how do we actually stay positive when you're feeling really upset about something or just really down? Whatever makes you happy is what is a way in which you can stay positive, whether it be having a nap, going for a walk, listening to music, dancing, something that makes you feel good about yourself, do those things and they will always keep you positive, keep you happy. Staying physically active is another thing in which you, another way in which you can keep your mind or your mental health positive because fresh air and exercise keeps you active and it makes you feel good as well. It releases those good endorphins and then getting enough sleep is another important one, which I think many people don't really do most times. They think in the evenings is their time where they can catch up on chatting to their friends or even watching some movies. But make sure that you do actually get enough rest because that could also make you quite moody when you're tired. And then the last one is developing coping skills. It's almost like the one that I said earlier was staying positive. If you have something that makes you happy, something that helps you cope with stress, always do those things, whether it's speaking to someone, listening to music, just walking away and coming back later facing your problem. Try not to let the negatives get into you all the time, okay? So there's a little task that we'd like you to complete. We, it's not compulsory for you to add this on to Seesaw. If you want to share it with us, you may, but you really don't have to. This is something for yourself just to show you that there's always a positive in everything. So the first one is a statement that says, I am. And this statement is basically Thinking about things that you know you are. When you're feeling down, when you're feeling good about yourself, just think about one thing that you know is good about you. It could be whether you are kind, whether you are helpful or friendly. 
I have a few examples here. The first one I said, I am loved and appreciated. You have a family, you have friends and they love you. That's the most important thing. So I put that one down quite fast, put that one down first because I find it quite important knowing that we have people who loves us. Another one, this might not be for everyone, but this one says, I'm confident and strong. Many of you might think that you're not confident, but trust me, once you keep practicing and working on that, you will become a confident person. So I want you to think about things, at least one or two things that you can think about that you are. And I'm going to ask you to pause the video now. You can write them down or just shout them out or think about them. Right, we're going to move on then to the next one. The next one is an I can statement. Things that you can do. What can you do? So let's have a look at maybe one of my examples. I can make others smile. That's something positive, isn't it? When you make someone smile or when you make someone happy, it makes you feel good about yourself. So that's definitely a positive. Would you like to see another one? Great, let's have a look at this one. I can be brave. In situations where you find that you just feel like giving up, you can't do anything, just remember, you can do it. You can be brave. And the last one I said, I can be a good friend. And a good friend is what everyone needs. So see if you can think about things do one or two things that you can be. You may pause the video now. Perfect. And the last one is I have statements. So this one is probably a bit tricky because it took me some time to think about a statement for I have as well. It could be something like you have friends and family who really love you and support you. Or it could be something with in which you're struggling with work at the moment or a few tasks and you just feel like you're not doing very well. But guess what? My statement says I have the ability to do whatever task I am. Excuse me. Ooh, there we go. I am faced with is my last one, but I seem to have. There we go. <laughs> So my last statement says, I have the ability to do whatever task I am faced with. And that's absolutely correct because if you put your mind to something, you can really do it. Okay, so for today, I would like you to think about one statement for each of these. I am, I can, and I have, and they must be positive statements because there's a positive in there. I can... I mean, I know there's a positive statement in everything, every situation we face. So see if you can complete the following activity on your own. So this will be your paper. You can either print it out. You can write down I am statements on a piece of paper. I don't mind. However you like, as long as you're finding those positives. And then if you want to share it with us on Seesaw, you may, but you really don't have to because this is something I'd like you to keep for yourself. And always remember the things that you can do, the things that you are, and the things that you have. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Keep well.